By releasing Nano Banana, Google Gemini 2.5 Flash has already competed with others image generative AI like Firefly or Midjourney. Well, it is the most powerful AI image model yet, also the most economical one since you don't have to pay any cents to use this feature. A few days ago, I made two videos breaking down what Nano Banana was and how it stacked up against other AI image generators. But today, we're going to go deeper into what other amazing things that Nano Banana can do. So, Nano Banana blew up as the weirdly named AI model that was supposed to be just a cool images generator. But it's not the case. It's basically a creative nuke waiting to go off. Here's five ways to use Nano Banana that can blow your mind. Let's buckle up and dive into it. All right, let's begin with something fun. Creating Lego collectible figures. Yep, people started using Nano Banana to design brand new Lego minifigs that don't exist in real life. Have you ever wondered, what if I could have my own Lego figure? Now, instead of waiting for Lego to release the exact figure that you want, Nano Banana lets you generate your own. Nano Banana is really good at capturing all the details of reference images, so you can easily create a Lego minifig that looks like the person in the reference image. For example, here I have the original image which is randomly a half-body or full-body single-person photo. For the prompt, I write in both Nano Banana and ChatGPT 4.0. Okay, so here's the result, and I will also show you the differences between two models. On the left is the image that Nano Banana has generated. Yeah, it took me only 15 seconds to reach the outcome. And the figure came along with the background around it. Like I said, this banana really paid attention to the detail of the image and the prompt provided. Everything should be a Lego piece. So, yeah, it did very well from the bottom as the floor was a brick of Lego to support the standing. You could see clearly right here. Comes to the character and the animal next to him. Every single detail is a single piece of Lego, which could form into a complete model. You could see the joints and excess of the animal most clearly. And the character? His face and beard was drawn carefully to portrait the model accurately. The only thing I could complain is that the animal was not the dog that always walks side by side. Now compare that with gpt 4 os result on the right. I think you could see the clear winner. The image came up with a very unrealistic lighting and atmosphere, and the biggest difference is that the floor is flat. No more Lego joints like the one of Nano Banana. Very uncanny to see this. Come to the living parts. I'm happy to see the dog, but that's all I could tell. The detail of this model is pretty bad. The dog is just a single piece of plastic, no Lego parts to form a complete one. And the character? Well, his face looks like it was attached with some eyebrows and beard stickers. You could see the shadows reflected. And what the heck is this redundancy thing behind him? I guess the only similarity of these two is the typo, which almost any AI could happen. So yeah, Nano Banana definitely wins at this field. All right, here's another cool feature of Nano Banana. If the Lego collectible blew your mind, Nano Banana could turn literally anything into an anime-style badge. Let's not talk much. I'll do a quick hands-on demo, because I know some of you are curious how exactly you can turn anything into an anime-style badge with Nano Banana, right? It's so easy. And for our example, I've got this quick pencil doodle right here. Nothing fancy. I'll type in this prompt. Now click Generate, and I'll speed up the process for you. It took about 25 seconds, by the way. Boom! Nano Banana has just polished up the picture into a full-blown anime badge. It literally looks like a real merch, which is sold on any real anime retails as a merchant. Pretty cool, huh?
Even the resolution is much better on this badge than the original one, and the badge really did turn into an image made out of silk. Very impressive. Now, just to show you the difference, here's what other AI image tools gave me using the exact same prompt. It's... what should I say? The GPT basically did well, because the characters still appeared on the badge, yes, but the background is not what I expected, since the little slash behind her was not here, and the art style of the badge was still artificial. Move to Firefly, I mean, it could not even recreate a single detail from the original one. It turned into a brand new one, nothing related. What a difference. Kind of unexpected, right? Now, let's move to the third part. Let's move to the feature I've liked most because it's really vibing. Creating a retro CRT computer boot screen that looks like they came straight out of the 80s. Nano Banana can bring that back. But not just as a screenshot. This thing can actually generate authentic looking CRT boot screens that look like they were ripped straight from an IBM PC in 1987. Honestly, it feels like time travel. So here's what I did. I'm starting with a plain black background image, just a 1920 by 1080 black rectangle. Now comes the fun part. I typed in this prompt, Retro CRT computer boot screen that resolves into ASCII art of shape of logo. Remember to replace shape of logo in the prompt with a specific shape or logo description, such as Shanghai skyline, and be the most descriptive. Nano Banana thrives on detail. The more you describe textures and effects, the more authentic it looks. And voila, there it is. Look at the scan lines, the phosphor glow, even the slight curvature that makes it feel like an actual glass CRT. Nano Banana literally nailed it. Not gonna lie, I feel nostalgia when I look at it. Once you're happy, then just export the image. You can use it as a wallpaper, make it the intro sequence to your videos, or set it as a background for streaming. And if you want to push it further, you can animate the blinking cursor or flicker with free editing software. All right, we've done Lego collectibles, anime badges, and even retro CRT screens, but this next feature might be the most fun of them all. Nano Banana can whip up an entire chibi character sticker pack from scratch. And when I say sticker pack, I mean a full set of adorable, big-eyed, expressive chibi characters that look like something you'd buy at an anime convention, or even see sold on Etsy for a premium. And here's the kicker. You can use them everywhere. You can add them as Telegram or Discord sticker packs, turn them into WhatsApp reactions, or even print them as physical vinyl stickers to slap on your laptop or sell at a fan booth. And trust me, once you see how easy it is to create your own chibi sticker pack, you'll never look at online sticker shops the same way again. The first thing you'll want to do is upload a clear photo of yourself, or whoever you want to chibify. Ideally, it should be front-facing, well-lit, and not too cluttered in the background. I'll upload mine right here. For the prompt, I write in, If you don't upload your reference image, Remember to replace the character in the reference image in the prompt with a specific description of the character's features. After hitting Generate, Nano Banana is going to give you exactly what you want. You've got a full set of stickers. Each one has the same art style, but with totally different expressions. One with a sparkly, overjoyed expression. A hasty one on the road. A gluttony one eating noodles and even with a weirdly spider one. That's all it should be for the section four. Let's move to the fifth. So far, Nano Banana has shown us it can be playful and wild, but sometimes you just need something sleek and professional. That's where this next feature shines. Nano Banana can generate minimalist 3D illustrations that look like they came straight from a high-end design studio. You know those clean, soft 3D visuals you see on startup websites or app launches? Yes, that's what I want to make right now. To get started, let's write a clear and structured prompt. 
For our example, I'll generate a toilet with the following JSON profile. I will put the prompt on the description box under this video. All right, I hit generate, and here's what we get. Super clean, super modern. The character has that rounded clay look, almost like those trendy dribble shots you see everywhere. The color palette is soft and easy on the eyes, and the background doesn't distract from the subject. If I wanted, I could stop here and already have a ready-to-use illustration for a website header or a presentation slide. Once you've got a design you like, download it as a PNG or high-res image. Now that you've got your minimalist 3D illustration, but because this one feature alone could save you hundreds of dollars in design costs, you cannot waste that by letting it sit in a folder on your desktop. You can actually bring it to life in different ways. And that's it. NanoBanana isn't just another AI image model. It's basically a creative factory hiding behind a silly name. If you had fun with this breakdown, let me know in the comments what feature you want me to dive deeper into next. And hey, subscribe if you want more AI experiments like this. If you don't, just know that you'll break my tiny heart. All right, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you in the next one.